So here we've got a question, 216 times 39. I'm going to show you three different ways of doing these multiplication problems, and then you can pick the one that you find easiest for you. So I'm going to start with what's called the traditional method. This is where we write 216 on top of 39. So we've lined up the units and the tens and the hundreds if there were any. Um, we're going to start with this 9. And we're going to do 9 times 6. So 9 times 6 is 54. So the 4 goes here, the 5 carries over. Then 9 times 1 is 9. Plus on the 5, that makes 14. So the 4 goes here, 1 carries over. And then 9 times 2, that's 18, plus 1, so that's 19. So 9 goes there, the 1's got nowhere to carry over, so that just becomes the thousands. Then we move on to a 3. Now, we're not actually multiplying by 3, this is actually 30. So what we do is we just add on an extra zero here, and then just work from the right to the left again. So 3 times 6 is 18. 8 and 1 carries over. 3 times 1, well that's 3, plus 1 is 4. And 3 twos, that makes 6. So this is what we got by multiplying 9 by 216. This is what when we multiplied 30 by 216 and we just add them up so going down 4 plus 0 is 4 8 plus 4 that's 12 2 carry 1 over 9 plus 4 plus 1 is 14 4 carry 1 over 1 plus 6 plus 1 is 8 so the answer is 8000 424. So I'm going to show you another method. This one's called the grid method. So this one involves us splitting the numbers up to 200, 10 and 6, and 30 and 9. So across the top, doesn't matter if I do it across the top or across the, the side, I'm going to write 200, 10 and 6. And going down, I'm going to write 30 and 9. And this becomes a grid. So we're going to do all these multiplications. So this is 200 times 30. We don't actually have to work that out. We just do 2 times 3. 2 3s are 6. And we add on the 1, 2, three zeros. 10 times 30, well 1 times 3 is 3, add on the two zeros. 6 times 3 is 18, add on the zero. 2 nines, 18, two zeros. 1 nine is 9, and a zero. And 6 times 9 is 54. So we've done all the separate multiplications this time. So what we have to do is we have to add up all these numbers. So I'm going to write them in order of like um, largest to smallest. So 6,000 I'm going to put on top. Then I've got 1,800. I've got 300. 180. 90. And 54. And we're going to add down, so starting at the right, there's only 4 in that column. 8 plus 9 plus 5, so 8 plus 9, that's 17. 17 plus 5 is 22. So 2 and carry 2 over. 8 plus 3 plus 1 plus 2, 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 3 and 1 is 14. 1 carries over. 6 plus 1 plus 1 is 8. So 8,424.
and one more method. It's called Napier's Bones. Um, I don't use this one very often, but it is quite effective. 216 times 39. So same as the grid method, but what we we don't do is add on the zero. So we don't write 30. We don't write 200. Splitting them up into boxes. I'm going to complete the grid this time. And I'm going to split each box diagonally. Okay, so all we've got to do is we've got to do the multiplication. So 2 times 3 is 6. So there's no tens in the answer. So I'm just going to write 0, 6. 1 times 3, 0, 3. 3 times 6, or 6 times 3, is 18. So the tens go there, the units go there. 2 nines, 18. 1 9 is just 9. And 6 nines are 54. And then we do the addition, starting at the right. So this is just 4 in this one. So I'm just going to write 4. This is 9 plus 5 plus 8. 9 plus 5 is 14, plus 8 is 22. 2 carries over into the next one. 2 plus 8 plus 3 plus 1, that's 14. 4, 1 carries over into the next one. 6 plus 1 plus 1, that's 8. And then 0 is just nothing. So again, the answer is 8,424. So that's three different methods. You can pick the one that suits you best. Okay, so now we're going to multiply decimals. Um, it's, a, it's going to be the same process as multiplying ordinary integer numbers, but um, we're going to have to change the question. So I'm going to get rid of the decimals and change the question to 2135 times 52. So all I've done here is I've multiplied the first one by 10 twice, 10 two times, and the second one by 10 once. So in total I've multiplied by 10 three times, so I'm going to have to undo that at the end. But for now we just have to answer this question, 2135 times 52. So I'm going to use the traditional method, times 52. So we're going to do 2 times 5, 2 times this number first, so 2 times 5 is 10. 2 threes are 6, plus 1 is 7. 2 ones are 2. And 2 twos are 4. Now I'm going to multiply by 50, so I'm going to add a 0 here. And then 5 fives is 25, so 5 and carry the 2. 5 threes are 15, plus the 2 is 16, 17. 5 ones are 5, plus the 1 is 6. And 5 twos, that makes 10. Now we need to add down, so 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 plus 7 is 12. 2 plus 7 plus 1, that's 10. 4 plus 6 plus 1 is 11. And then we've got 0 plus 1 and 1, just, just a 1. So this an the answer of this question, 2135 times 52, is 1110.20. It's... Um, 111,020. So if we remember, I multiplied the question by 10 three times. So we have to divide the answer by 10 three times. So the answer to the decimal question is 111.02. That's the answer. The, um, the other way of looking at this is there were one, two, three numbers after the decimal point in the question. So I need one, two, three numbers after decimal point put back in for the answer. So I've got 111.02. Okay, another example of that. So 7.15 times 62, we're going to change the question. 715 times 62. We can use any of the methods. This time we're going to use the grid method. So 700 and 710 and 5, 60 and 
Okay. Six times seven is forty two. One, two, three zeros. Six times one is six, two zeros. Five sixes are thirty and another zero. Two sevens are fourteen, two zeros. Two times ten is twenty, two times five is ten. And adding up the numbers, one thousand four hundred, uh, six hundred, three hundred, twenty, and ten. So that's zero. Two plus one is three. Four plus six plus three is thirteen. Two plus one plus one is four and four. So to change the question, we times by 10 twice. So to change the answer, we divide by 10 twice. So two numbers are for decimal point in the question, two numbers are for decimal point in the answer. So the answer to 7.15 times 62 is 443.3. Again, we don't need to write the zero because something 0 0.30 is the same as something 0.3. So that's the answer. Okay, here's some questions for you to try. Pause the video, give them a go, and I'll put the answers up afterwards. Here are the answers. 